So we're going for a long weekend in Norfolk. We're staying at the Haven site at Caestron C. We have stopped there a number of times. We did have a long weekend and a week um, here um, last year. And we do like this um, sort of site. Meeting up with my in-laws, which this is their caravan. They had an early check-in at uh, midday we've got hours a little bit later because we are going swimming that's tyler the dog um and then later um this particular day um i would be having my daughter-in-law my son and granddaughter come in and they're coming straight after she finishes school so i'm just going to share around their caravan and then i'll share you ours both are bronze or should be bronze this one's bronze ours i'm mention in my video that it's more silver and both actually um sleep eight So this is our accommodation. It's just started to spit of rain actually. We've just come back from swimming. Um, the previous accommodation was my in-laws and we're just waiting for my son, our son, daughter-in-law and granddaughter to come but they probably won't have till about half six, quarter to seven. This is supposed to be a bronze. There's no way this is a bronze um, because it has actually got the veranda and everything. So if you just wait a minute, I just wipe my screen. Okay, just wipe my screen. Okay, this we presume is at least a silver, not a bronze, which is what we um, sort of paid for. But it's even better. I was hoping for at least two toilets because there is um, five of us sharing the caravan. Um, well, the static caravan. I was hoping for two toilets. It's actually better than we thought and the reason why i know this is a silver not just because the wrap around sort of well it's not quite wrap around it's all down the side actually um vianda type thing i'll start over here another um reason i believe it's a silver is because of the size of the tv we both agreed that so um son daughter-in-law are having this is the weird thing because normally at this end it's the lounge area as we've got bedrooms at this end and the other end with the lounge and kitchen in the middle. So this is the room that um, um, my son, daughter-in-law will be um, using. It is a double room, got the wardrobes there, very nicely done and they have got which is unusual actually it is a full on suite normally you only get a sink and a toilet so this is really handy especially with sort of um five of us sharing do excuse the mess i'm in said uh, we've just come back from swimming so that is this end it's really nice and um with i don't know about the savers i'm not so sure about the savers although we've had savers once and i'm sure the beds were made but bronze upwards beds are always made. Um, must admit, with a silver, 
towels are normally included but we've bought all our own towels anyway because we only pay for the bronze so this goes into a, another double bed um, in here and like i said we've got a fireplace we've got the big tv um dining room um kitchen this is the first time I've known it's to have a breakfast bar. Yeah, there are glasses. We were at Dine of Thirst after um, swimming. So, and on the bar stalls and everything. I actually smiled at Daniel because I've got gas cooker. The last about three times I've had electric and I can't get on with it. I think it's because we've actually had to get the um, instructions how to use the electric one up on the phone to get the manual because this is all like, um, what do you call it, digital? Um, usually for the electric um, it took us a bit of while to try and work out how to use the oven grill I do prefer gas I've got gas at home so it's a beautiful kitchen um, Dan was saying he reckons his brother's going to think oh this is all right but then again I think at the moment unless it's noisy we reckon this is the best actual caravan we've had isn't it it beats the silver that we did actually pay for on the second holiday in um blackpool because there was a lot of things missing out of it although i think it had been newly decorated the fact that there was no hooks and no toilet paper holder and everything like that this is the broom cupboard this one's just coming out of it and the heater and this is what even Daniel got excited about this. Look at this. This is why we are convinced it's a silver. This is no way a bronze. Look at that. Full fridge. As normally you only get this size fridge. And look, we've got a freezer. It's a shame much. We're only here for the weekend, a long weekend. Else this would have been ideal. So we come to the other half so through there was the main bedroom the master and guess what another full bathroom brilliant stuff so yeah because normally we don't get this so we've got two shelves which is handy actually so me and Daniel can use this half and the other three can use the other sort of thing and instead of six berth it is actually eight berth so i've just turned my jacket up there sorry if not so facing that way we've got two singles in here with a, another wardrobe so because i thought i'd be sharing with my granddaughter i'll see how things go but we could have a bedroom each if it come to it and then we've got another one this side identical um, wardrobe and units yeah, like that so very nice so yeah really pleased with it it's got cubbies here that's the main thing about this there's a lot of storage but i suppose you need that especially as it actually is an eight berth so there we are i'm loving the um curtains as well yeah so we, we're quite chuffed with it, aren't we, Dallin? We just need to know whether it's actually going to be quiet or not. So we will see about that. So we're going to get unpacked now because time's getting on. I think it must be close to four o'clock now um, because we did have lunch in my um, in-laws caravan because they had early check-in as we had later because we had the swimming booked and everything like that. Although my mother-in-law did come swimming with us. So there we are. So we're going to have a drink and get unloaded. So this is reality. We've just bought all the bags in. Yes, I say this every time. I do have a lot, a lot of different bags. I've actually bought more stuff this weekend, this long weekend, than I did when we had a week in Cornwall. That's because I've got extra stuff for a granddaughter. I've got, I've doubled up on all towels for five people. Um, we Obviously, I've got my medication bag. I've got an extra bag of snacks. I've got the call bag, the Xbox. That's got all the towels and everything, clothes, all stuff for the granddaughter. And then that's our electronic bag. And I do have two soap bags. One's got our 
um, products that we normally have, me and Daniel, but I've got one with the extra products that I've bought for the rest of the family in case they're needed. Um, my son always brings one of his, um, you know, really expensive pillars with him. That's why we always put a dark um, pillowcase on so we know um, from a glance it is to come, high, um, to come home with us. And then I've just got to sort out the washing stuff from the swim and everything. Um, and try and get that dry like I said it is <laughs> everything gets dumped but then once it's sorted out and organized then um, it doesn't look too bad then and we will see this is the first time in forever that we've got actually five um, sharing this accommodation then my in-laws and the dog are in another one so I'm going to get this all put away I will say on this particular long weekend, because I've got relatives with us and um, because of um, protecting their privacy and everything, I may not be doing so much videoing, but we'll see how it goes. If not, it'd be probably legs and backs of people and things like that, but we shall see. I might even only do one video covering the whole weekend. I don't know. We'll see how things go. So I had a message that they were close by so we went to sort of um, the front of the park waiting um, for my son to arrive. We've got their entertainment passes, we've got the pass for their car um, and they did arrive at just gone up at seven. We had a buffet sort of a lunch at um, my in-laws caravan, we had Burger King takeaway for tea. And then um, we all took um, my granddaughter on the swings and the play area. This was quite late on in the evening. I can't remember exactly what time we left, whether it was something like half eight, nine o'clock. Um, but it was sort of th so everybody could stretch their legs. So the next day, which was Saturday, um, half day in Yarmouth. And we had lunch there. It started spitting the rain, so we thought we're not going to spend any time on the beach. So we thought, well, hang on a minute. We've eaten. We've stretched our legs again. We've gone round Great Yarmouth. Um, let's go back and just chill out a bit. And if um, the weather sort of blows over, maybe we can go on the beach at Caestron Sea and possibly... Um, go to the swings or whatever we actually sat down and um, thought we'd have a bit of a movie time um, we just started watching a movie just to chill out and this is what we heard the hail I think I think yeah I think we've had everything rain thunder lightning hail that down there I presume or is it snow no, it's hail. is that actually hail yeah, And when we did go for the evening entertainment, guess what? Yes, we'd had a freak um, snow as well as sleep. We had absolutely everything. But this particular holiday, we did go for the um, kiddies entertainment.
So the weather is very changeable but we did get on the case start on sea beach this is from the haven site so it was myself um my son daniel kyla the dog and my in-laws um my other son daughter-in-law and granddaughter they took one of the family bikes the one where it's you pedal around and you've got like the four seats if that makes sense um so we just went and stretched our legs like i keep saying and we went on the beach um it was very changeable but we had amazing time we do try and get out walking about as much as we can um this is actually the sunday if i haven't mentioned in this video we actually went into the restaurant and we had a carvery dinner due to the fact it's also father's day as well most of us um the party i think six out of the seven of us all had roast dinner there was only one that didn't and they had desserts as well um so it was a gorgeous meal and it was nice to have it as a family then just before um sort of we broke off um they went to the treat at sort of um places to get um some treats as well this is the outside of our accommodation like i said this i think is definitely a silver now we're on our way back um like i did say on this occasion due to the fact that um i've got family members with us and i didn't want to spend too much time videoing i've done case and um yarmouth and quite a few places around norfolk last year so you can always look back on those videos we may even come for another break here because i do like the haven site at case on sea it's my favorite i keep saying this to a lot of my family i just love it we had beautiful weather all the way back it did make a bit of a change from going um because we did have some rough weather and it did start raining when we first arrived but we was on the go all day friday most of saturday and sunday by the time my daughter-in-law um son and granddaughter left late afternoon on the sunday um we were quite tired we just had a couple of movies on relaxed did the packing and everything we was going to go swimming and we was going to go to the evening entertainment but we decided that we would skip that due to the fact also we we're at another haven site in dorset very shortly